All right, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Wednesday night, February 12th, 2020, about 7.50 p.m. West Coast time, my time here in the state of California. And we've got an earthquake coming in to the San Andreas Fault System at a magnitude currently sitting at 4.0 with a depth below the surface at about 7 kilometers down, which is uh, pretty standard for out here along the plate boundary. You can see that earthquake right there taking taking place um, right there on the map. That's going to be the red square type deal, red square. That's I mean, there's no other way to say it. Uh, right there along the dark red line south of Hollister, and that is the San Andreas Fault System right there. Uh, let's see if I can cover that up a little bit. They have been seeing a little bit of earthquake activity there in that region for a little while. Um, you can see the blue squares also indicating uh, smaller earthquake activity in, in the low magnitude range there uh, scattered about the area. Um, so a little bit of something building up out there in that region just south of Hollister, north of San Benito, right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault System there. A little bit better map um, I'm going to bring up right here. Can get a little bit better view of it. it is the uh, USGS map one day all magnitudes and this here is going to show a little bit more detailed section of the uh, land out there and also the fault systems that take shape in the uh, state of California. The plate boundaries right North American plate and the Pacific plate right here is where the San Andreas fault system sits. A uh, major plate boundary that is. And once again, 4.0 is going to be that uh, the bigger red circle there. On uh, kind of looks like it's on the east side of the San Andreas Fault System. There, um, they do call this section the creeping section. So I'm guessing, you know, well, it makes sense, right? A little bit of a smaller earthquake activity uh, continuously over a period of time. The creeping section. And uh, but 4.0 is not uh, abnormal to see in this area. And looking around here uh, in this region, they've definitely had a little bit of earthquake activity, like I've mentioned over the past couple days. A little aftershock right there, uh, 2.0 earthquake following that 4.0, um, just by a few minutes or so afterwards. So, uh, no big deal. I mean, it's just earthquake activity out here in California, right? No. No doom and gloom, but uh, it is out there on the San Andreas Fault section, and that's uh, that's that. A little bit of earthquake activity out there in the Ridgecrest area. Well, we can take a look at Mammoth Lakes real quick. We'll zoom in here and take a look at these guys. Activity has calmed down uh, a little bit out there in the Long Valley region, which is a super volcano in Southern California. Uh, just some micro earthquake activity occurring in and around the uh, the region there. Activity further down south in the Ridgecrest area continues to be of moderate, uh, mag not magnitudes, but multitude of earthquakes out there. You can see the well-defined line showing the rupture of where that uh, those large earthquakes struck back in July of last year. And I don't see any source of uh, or any any uh, migration of those quakes whatsoever so we're just continuing to see earthquake activity aftershock earthquake activity in the Ridgecrest area and that could happen for many many months if not years ahead uh, in the future so that's uh, that is that let's go up to Yellowstone National Park here real quick I know I did an update video on that activity in the southern end of the park uh, I guess southwest end of the park here, according to this map. Uh, pretty intense period of activity last night. Um, and that kind of forced me to do an update video on that activity real quick. Because it had, me, it had me going, just being a little bit concerned here. Not of eruption, not of any type of eruption, but any type of swarming in the in around a uh, super volcano such as Yellowstone is kind of you know opens anyone's eyes but uh, uh it sh pretty much stopped right after i posted that video but it was for a couple hours and um according to these folks 
it shows 21 earthquakes here in Yellowstone National Park. All micro earthquakes. Uh, I think a 2.3 was the largest in the sequence of uh, swarming last night. So no major quakes, but there was definitely uh, an intense uh, release of uh, pressure, if you will, in the in, in the form of swarm, a little small swarm of quakes. And I believe there was way more than 21 earthquakes. I believe that number will be updated um, from the USGS. Let's go back, uh, see if we can do seven days, all magnitudes real quick here. I don't think that's going to show. Well, it's going to show a couple more there. Um, some older earthquake activity, it looks like, in and around that same area of Yellowstone National Park. Um, kind of wanting to see where that's exactly by. Okay, but yeah, um, either way, I believe we're going to see that number rise quite a bit uh, because looking back on the seismograph station there, uh, in Yellowstone where it took place in the southern end of the park it was pretty like I said pretty dramatic there for quite some time near Pitchstone Plateau I believe is the um, the seismograph station that uh, is very close if not right at the epicenter of this activity I'm gonna pull this up here for you real quick here I wasn't gonna show it but I do want to re um, refocus on that. This here is from Yellowstone National Park near uh, Pitstone Plateau. I believe that that's how you pronounce it. And you can see it's just now starting to scroll off the top of the screen or the top of the graph there indicating uh, that it's you know an older earthquake activity obviously from last night. But you can see every single one of those spikes is an earthquake and the 25 or 26 earthquakes that they claim happened there um, we're probably looking at four times that much. That's, that's why I stated about 100 earthquakes last night that uh, struck the park there in a very intense fashion. Uh, no major quakes, but it was just like bam, 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 earthquake after earthquake for a, uh, a period of about three to four hours there. Um, and I may be I may be a low number as far as 100 earthquakes go, but uh, we'll see what the USGS says. Either way, every single one of those little spikes and, and not not just the red ones, not just the red confirmed ones, but those little blue ones in between, um, those are all earthquakes as well in the micro range, but they're still earthquakes. So either way, activity has calmed down uh, for the most part overnight or uh, throughout the day today. Not a whole lot of activity in Yellowstone National Park, so we'll continue to keep an eye on that though. Uh, let's go ahead and check out worldwide activity on the earthquake 3d globe real quick i know a little bit of things have changed on here on the channel we're missing the data as i mentioned last night in my update video that it's still uh still trying to figure out the server issue that i'm having for my uh, global earthquake explorer program it's an unsupported app so as far as the developers go it's kind of hard to get a hold of them to see if we can't do a uh a uh, just a quick fix on the program so we can get the live seismic graph data back, but uh, I'm continuing to work on them and uh, I won't give up. Uh, earthquake activity out in Texas there, a little bit of 2.7 and 2.8 magnitudes out there. A 2.7 did strike over here towards the east, uh, eastern coast region. Let me see the exact location of that. Can't remember, I think it's uh, Tennessee region, but I can't remember the name or the town, I should say. Fincastle, that's right. We've seen earthquake activity out there before in that region over the past couple months, uh, relatively within the same magnitude as we're seeing, as we've seen today with that 2.7. So uh, not a big increase, not a, not a concern at the moment there in that part of the country. Uh, worldwide, deeper earthquake activity in Fiji once again. That's, uh, that's pretty much a standard for those folks as far as large scale large earthquakes go we're pretty much absent of that activity right now folks and uh just kind of uh waiting to see what happens out here i mean with this 4.0 out here on the west coast uh might just set things into motion we'll have to keep an eye on it i did um like i say i replaced the data stations for now since they're not showing any data with the cascadia subduction zone slow slip event map now this is from the 11th of february there was no activity today, um, at least 
that they haven't updated. Uh, but as soon as I see new activity, I will update that map. But uh, it's kind of like a good thing to pay attention to as far as slow slip event movement along the, the uh, west coast, the Cascadia subduction zone area. Uh, other than that, folks, hope everyone out there has a good night. I'm going to jump off here. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to call it an early night. Uh, just uh, had a long, fun day. Pretty tired. Um, yeah, so stay safe out there, everyone. And make sure you have an earthquake plan out there. Always, always be prepared to wet, no matter where you're at out here on this beautiful globe. So have a good Wednesday night, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.